Hello, uh, today we are going to learn the Edexcel A's topic 3 of unit 1 paper. Uh, I have already completed the video lessons for section 3.1 and 3.2. Uh, under 3.1 video we covered on the internet, the World Wide Web, DNS, Static and Dynamic Web Pages uh, and also on client side and server side scripting, advantages and disadvantages of both sides and comparisons and all that. So uh, we have covered everything under 3.1 section and then uh, under 3.2 uh, lesson we covered the operating online and digital footprint. Today we will learn the theory needed for section 3.3 that is uh, online communities. My next video will be on section 3.4 and it, uh, it will be on cloud computing and with those four videos we will be completing the entire chapter 3 for that means for your unit 1 paper. So don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon to get the notification when I upload the new lesson so you won't be miss anything. Right. So as usual, I got this screen capture from the latest Edexcel A-level IT subject specification. So on a topic 3, section 3.3, 3, uh, according to the spec, you need to learn what is meant by uh, online communities, impact of online communities to people and organizations and also uh, we need to know some monetization opportunities as well. Okay, so let's dig into the subtopics of section 3.3, the online communities. Uh, communities are all around us, right? Like whether they are made of family, friends or a group of people who share interest. Uh, you're probably already part of an online community, whether it's a next door community for your neighborhood or a Facebook group or WhatsApp or LinkedIn group that brings you together with others. So an online community or virtual community is a group of people with a shared interest or purpose who use the internet to communicate with each other. Uh, online communities and online community platforms typically have their own set of guidelines to manage the uh, communities. So let's see the impact of an, uh, online communities on individuals, uh, the, the good side and also the bad. So online communities uh, help people to socialize, especially for people who need special needs, can interact over internet. And it helps people to sustain their relationships, friendships, even when they are like geographically apart uh, in different countries, different time zones. And it helps people to find jobs, relocate, learn and share personal opinions and uh, connect with people in other countries. So you get to know uh, uh, in the relocation process uh, the details that you need to know. And uh, so those are sort of the uh, positives of online communities. And as for the negatives, like in extreme levels, like when people are more addicted to online communities, they find uh, difficulty meeting people physically because they are so used to the screen uh, connecting with people. So some people, uh, so it's it's a sort of a mental uh, condition where they uh, at extreme level, they find it difficult to meeting people physically. And some people also like waste too much time hanging with online communities and they get addicted to it and they without uh, thinking or without feeling they waste a lot of time so those are sort of uh, negatives of online communities and now let's see how online communities are changing the game uh, for organization level uh, branding uh, online communities give businesses a chance to show off who they are and what they are all about and why they are good and so those sort of marketing and branding things and next up uh, like targeting ads uh, instead of like throwing ads out there and hoping they stick, businesses can aim their ads right at the people who are like most interested. So targeting uh, ads. And then there's uh, influencers. Like, you know, those cool people on social media who like everyone follows uh, people who are having like few millions of followers in their, in their Instagram profile. So we call them influencers. So businesses are teaming up with them, uh, those influencers. Uh, to spread the word about their stuff. It's like like having your friend tell you about a cool new product and they are doing product reviews and all that. So you also feel like trying it them out. So that's about influencers. And then businesses uh, also use it as a feedback time. 
uh, online communities are full of people sharing their thoughts and opinions and experiences so business can uh, listen in and find out like what people and the uh, the society are thinking about their products and what they like and what they don't like uh, and what about their services customer service so they can get some ideas and also businesses can find uh, all kinds of talented folks hanging out in this group uh, and last not uh, but not least the promos and the discounts uh, businesses can let everyone know like about the latest deals and st- uh, like good friday deals christmas deals likewise they can uh, easily uh, let the people know about the promos discounts new products services and all that so there you have it like online communities are changing the way the businesses connect with people <clears throat> uh yeah right now we have the monetization opportunities in uh, online communities like yeah you heard it that right you can actually make money from hanging out online uh right so first up we have got getting paid for views whether you are creating videos or writing blog posts or sharing photos uh, platforms like youtube instagram and there are various type of platforms they are where they offer creators a slice of the pie based on the number of views on their content uh, because they play ads and when the users play the content uh, they get a uh, like a fraction of uh, that fee uh, next let, uh, let's talk about advertisements like have you ever noticed those little ads that pop up before or during a video or in between so well uh, like creators get piece of action every time one one of those uh, ads is uh shown and then we have pay per click ads are uh, another way to cash it in your online presence uh like you know those banners or links you see on websites uh, they, they pop up when you are uh, going through a website so every time someone clicks on those you get a tip and last but not least the product reviews like if you are passionate about a certain product or a service why not share your thoughts with the world and companies love getting honest feedback and they are willing to pay for it it's like getting paid uh, to share your uh, experiences and how you think about their product and all that right. okay this is a actually a very short lesson 3.3 section uh, online communities uh, so let's look at uh, one question that came in 2022 summer paper unit 1 paper uh, gatil has a blog he writes articles about wildlife photography for his blog he has a large following and thinks he can make money from his blog state two ways in which gatil could monetize his blog we just discussed right so gatil can get paid uh, for number of views of his blog content he also can get paid for number of advertisement played and shown inside the content and also pay per click of advertisements placed inside the blog sites he also can do product reviews and make content and get paid like for an example since this is a wildlife blog he can blog he can uh, do product reviews that are related to wildlife accessories cameras camping items and gadgets so any of these methods will give you two marks and then the part d is a uh, gatil is a member of an international photography forum uh, one benefit of being uh, a member of the forum is that gatil can make photos uh, sorry post about his blog uh, describe two other benefits to gatil uh, of being a member of the forum so this is about uh, online communities right online forums where people uh, with similar interests get together and discuss so what are described two benefits to gatil uh, of being a member of the forum right okay so so he can uh, get feedback or criticism or comments on the photos that he upload uh, which will help him to improve the Uh, photo taking techniques the styles and the quality of his photos and then gatil can pick up ideas and suggestions for content and images uh, from expert people on the forum and then 
he also can build a professional relationship with other photographers like worldwide there could be photographers from uh, 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 from uh, prestigious institutions and all that so he can get uh, he can create professional relationships and possible clients and uh, allowing him to sell or image uh, his images for money uh, so that's also another benefit and he also can build a name he can make a reputation for his himself for his images outside of his blog uh, he can reach the globe uh, global level and uh, uh, create a reputation create his profession profession and all that and also he can get support or answers to photography problems he can ask questions from the forum and clear out in doubts or the areas that he is not aware of and also he can get support and answers to uh, blog problems or and how he can improve his blog and also he can get information about events like in he's into wildlife photography he can get to know about uh, some exhibitions online events or any of these uh, if you write any any two of these you can get the full marks so that's one uh, simple question that came in for online community and the monetization. Uh, so uh, this is a very small uh, section you can cover within yeah, yeah like 10 minutes. And then uh, uh, let's, uh, this is a section 3.3 .3 that we just completed. The next lesson will be on topic 3.4 which is on the uh, cloud computing. Uh, that's an area you normally get questions in the exam papers. So stay tuned for the fourth video lesson on third chapter, which is also the last video of this chapter. Uh, so don't forget to subscribe. So you will get a notification when I add the next lesson. Uh, so study well and see you guys.